As the project manager, I'm jointly responsible for managing the construction process, making sure the site is built on time, within budget and according to industry and Good Energy's high quality standards. Good Energy identified Brimble Lake as a great site for solar. The land is slightly south facing to flat um, and there are hardly any uh, direct neighbours which limits the impact during construction and operation. Prior to construction, we went door to door to the closest neighbours to make sure they were aware of what was happening and when. Good Energy teamed up with a couple of contractors for this construction. Uh, obviously a solar farm is more than just panels on a field. If you've got underground cabling, a lock of earthing, uh, CCTV fencing, inverter stations, transformers, and obviously a substation to connect the project to the um, grid infrastructure. Uh, Spencer is here, a company based in uh, West Wales. Uh, we're a small to medium sized enterprise employing currently about 35 to 40 people. We had about eight to ten men here for about a month before the actual scheme started, which involved the construction of the temporary and permanent roads and the compounds and set up the welfare equipment, etc. So we have had about three to four people working on here for, for the installation of the transformers, really. So the construction was a winter build and the side is in Wales, where it does sometimes rain, which makes the ground very wet and muddy. Fortunately, we uh, teamed up with a great contractor who has a lot of experience working in these environments and did an amazing job to pull it off. We've been working on solar projects for four to five years in the UK and we've got the same crews that we've used. They know the tough conditions. The guys who like solar work enjoy it. You know, they, it's work all through the winter. It's been a nice part of the business and our turnover has grown with the solar. It's been nice to be involved with the solar scheme anyway. We've put a programme in place for after construction to reinstate the land as best and as quickly as we can. Uh, it involves hanging up bat and bird boxes, um, seeding wildflowers and uh, reinstating a swampy area just outside of the project site to attract local wildlife.